G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle and welcome back to 7 Days to Die where the time has finally come, the moment has arrived after me trying to put it off for so long, I finally have to bite the bullet and give you all what you've been asking for. This is how to play 7 Days to Die using the stun button. Don't. Hey man, what's going on? Yep, no, already done. The entire series, already done. Yeah, finished. What? No, what do you mean I have to do it properly? Why? No, listen, we know that the stun button is completely worthless. The entire intellect tree is a waste of time. It's fine how it is. It's done. Oh, you... Seriously? Seriously? You're going to let me do this? You're going to let me do this? The whole week of intellect with the stun button. Oh, you just... You're really yanking my chain here, future Josh. I don't care how many hate comments you're getting. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Jeez, talk about a winger. All right, fine. We'll do it properly then. We're gonna do the intellect tree. I'm about this much excited about it, but whatever. We're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. So, welcome back to Seven Days to Die, where we are starting with day one of the intellect skill tree. It's not going to go well because unlike all the other skill trees in Seven Days to Die where they have, you know, javelins for perception or clubs and sledgehammers for strength or everyone else has their own dedicated melee weapon, Intellect doesn't because it has the stun button and the stun button is worse than a regular club. You pick up a stick off the ground, better than a stun button. So this is going to be interesting. Stun buttons and turrets, my two favorite things in the world. But that's enough moaning and groaning about that. Huh. <laughs> It won't be. Let's just get cracking and get the first opening quest done. Do I even have my opening quests? I don't have my opening quests. It's already off to a flyer. It's already off to a flyer! All right, there we go. We're back. And now we have the opening quest. We need an opening quest to get our first four skill points. What I'll do with them, I have no bloody idea, but we have to try anyway. Always going through the same motions. Oh, yes, good. Early stones are good. The same motions every time you start getting a habit of it means that when you do play an actual skill tree, then you might be a little bit better off than you would otherwise. Grab some, uh, some wood out of the stickly boys. Uh, there's another one there. I'll grab you. And also, as always, grab the cotton to make myself some bandages. Always need that regular bandage first thing in the morning. There's a bunny rabbit just cruising through the underbrush over there. That's right. I don't have the means to kill you just yet, so you can live for another day. I need another small stone. I did see someone actually saying in the comments that you could scrap your uh, land claim block. You can't do it. Just throw them away because they're not worth your time. They're taking up precious inventory space. I need a pebble. Anywhere around would be super useful. It often teases me with the one stone that makes me work hard for the next one. I'll take the polymers. Don't need brass in the early first few days. Anything else around? Come on. Where's a rock? Where's a stone? Why do I always... Oh, there's a chicken over there too. Why do I always get one and then never any more? I see one. I see one all the way back where I first started over where that bunny rabbit was. Apparently Flopsy over there was trying to like, tell me where to go. I'll grab my stone axe. It'll get me started nice and early. Uh, good. Okay. Rest of the plant fibers and stuff. Yeah, I'm not sure how this is going to go. I, admittedly, I've never, ever tried to specialize into the, uh, into the intellect tree. So, I don't really know what the right way to do this is going to be. Or even, like, a decent way to do this is going to be. I'm <laughs> exploring and experimenting with, uh, with this as much as anyone. So, I guess we'll figure it out together. Where you? Where you? Let's get this nice and out of the way. Hopefully, I get this done relatively quickly and it will tell me where Trader Potato is. Because I want to head to a town, but I want there to be a trader there. Oh, jeez. There's already a Loza. Uh, look, Loz, I'd love to get into a tango with you, but I'm kind of... 
I don't really know how to do that. I've got a club, but I don't know how to use it. I don't have any points into it right now. So we will have to pick this up another time. I'm sorry to like do the razzle dazzle and then run away from you. I promise that's not always going to be the case. I'll blow your mind one of these days. Don't you worry. Just not this very second. Uh, I need to craft a wooden frame. I did it too early. Craft one of you. Put you down and quickly just upgrade you. Make sure Loz is not following. Yeah, there you go. She finally gave up the chase. Not in the mood for games is old mate Loza. Grab five bones out of you, make myself a knife. Just all like the regular starting stuff. Even though like, so, like stun bands are gonna be interesting because you can't make yourself a stun baton early. All the other tiers have a primitive form of that weapon that you can make pretty early on and like start working into specialization for it. But you can't make an early stun baton. You just bloody can't. So, oh, for goodness sake, there you go. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that. I can't make a stun bone baton, can I? I don't know. I don't know how it's going to play out, but we'll find out whether we like it or not. Oh, all right. One more campfire. If it's just our first campfire, then we can continue on our way and see where we can spend our points. All right. Well, that's not good news. I put my campfire down and the trader is the other direction. I'm actually not too far away from the town just up here. You can see some of the buildings there. Oh, do I want to gamble? Like a trade is so important for day one, but it's two kilometers away. It's so far. Oh, I've only moved like <laughs> like a hundred meters from where I first spawned as well. There's a chance maybe there's a trader if I'm just over the ridge from this town. So I'll have a bit of a squeeze and see if maybe there's a trader in this town. Because even though it's not the trader that it sends to you first, there may still be a trader up here. And any trader is going to do the job for me. So whoever's here is going to be my new best friend. If there's going to be someone. Although that does mean now that I have the campfire down, I have the four skill points. So, intellects. Electrocutioner, uh, what are the instructions? You're smart. No, I'm not. But remember to point it away from you and pull the trigger. Craft quality two, uh, poor stun buttons. Deal 10% more damage and stun vigors for 20% longer. Unlock stun button crafting. So, I guess I kind of have to. What else have I got in here? Robotics inventor. Unlocks robotic sledge crafting. So, that's all like my, my turrets and things. Better barter. 5% better deal when buying or selling merchandise. That's not bad. Daring Adventurer is actually kind of useful. Get an additional choice of crest rewards plus more money uh, every time I do something for a tradie. Charismatic Nature. That's more useful when you're playing multiplayer. Nearby allies gain 20 health and stamina when near you. So if you're rolling in a crew, that's when that becomes useful. So not really useful for single player. Physician. Craft first aid stuff. I might grab that eventually as well. That needs intellect level 3. So does that one. Cool bananas, advanced engineering. That's like to unlock the recipes for, um, what should we call it? For workstations and things. Craft forges and um, uh, craft glue faster. That's all good in there. And grease monkey to get yourself a bicycle early. So there are some things in there that are kind of useful, but not a whole lot. What does it take actually? Stun button. What does it take to make you? So even like for a tier one of the button parts, all that's going to take some doing to get to there. Yeah, no, I can't see a trader here anywhere. I'm not going to waste too much time because I have to run two kilometers in the opposite direction. If I need baton pass to make a stun baton, then I'm absolutely going to have to rely on a trader even more than I have before. So I may as well take the first point of electrocutioner to unlock stun baton crafting at all. Does mean I can now only make a tier two, not a tier one anyway, so it's more expensive, but it is what it is. And I have a lot of Muppets around here who want to take me apart. So I'm going to make... A stone sledgehammer if I can. I need some stones. That should be fine. There's a little, little Arlene's guy to the rocks over here. Don't mind me. I'll just chip a couple of pebbles off this thing for my own nefarious purposes. But I need some sort of weapon. It may not be inside the insulate class, but there is no weapon early days for that. So I'm kind of hamstrung anyway. Stone sledgy. So I may as well just roll with that. Between a sledgy and a knife, I should probably be okay. I can scrap the club. If I can craft that a little bit faster, it'll be better. Plus, having a sledgy means I can murder all these guys, get some extra experience points, and put it into whatever <laughs> whatever I can in the intellect tree. Hurry up and craft, please. Jeez, that was taking forever. Oh, how you doing? See what I mean? Early days, stone sledging is the best weapon you can get. The other issue is going to be as well with the long run back down this road from whence I came. And then far, far yonder is that sprinting and like running at your stamina does drain your fluids and your food rather quickly as well. Now, I actually have a couple on me. Oh, and there's a Piggly Winks up here. 
Oh, but it's still very early. Oh, there's a couple of twins over there too. Still very early to go try and pat the pack of a head of a Piggly Winks and come out relatively unscathed. So I'm just going to scoot on by. If you could have some brothers and sisters in the town I'm going to for future meter harvest, that would be wonderful. But for now, I've got one drink, got some soup and I've got some chili. Oh, and a can of fish as well. It's going to have to get me there. I don't really have a choice. If there, was ever a, if there was ever a skill tree, ever a series, ever a week of Hardcore Specialist where I needed really good luck, it wasn't last week. Oh no, it was this week. Oh hey, Loza, I told you I'd come back for you when I could guarantee I'd blow your mind, so cop that and that. Oh, I still didn't do it. Uh oh, uh oh, you know what? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I tried my best, but I'm a three pump chump. I only got three good shots in there. I still didn't do anything to jiggle your dit, so uh, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna leave. She's gonna lie there, fighting your back and be disappointed in me. I understand. I've seen that face a lot in my life. Well, well, twice. But hey, you know what? I'm sure later on down the track, we'll reconnect on Facebook or something and we I can <laughs> apologize profusely. Man, this is really not going my way early days. I can feel like... I can feel it like being tight through my chest. Like I, I can, I feel on edge and uneasy about what I'm trying to do here. I, I know I'm not comfortable with what's going on. Like because of that, I'm like talking at like a slightly higher pitch and a little bit faster than normal. So hey, if you're new here and you're like, oh my God, does this guy always talk this fast? Well, yes, is the answer to that question. But also it's a little bit worse now, I feel like, just because I'm so unsure about how, oh, there we go, finally blew someone's mind. How I'm so unsure about how this is all gonna play out the time is ticking away and i'm still like cruising through a forest it's not particularly great oh and i suppose like hey if you are new here am i supposed to be like a, like a standard youtuber and be all like oh you know make sure you subscribe this feels yuck even joking about it feels yuck to even bring it up so ignore that excuse me now you got armor on so i'm never gonna try and pick a fight with you i was gonna keep on running along this road one kilometer down another kilometer to go Oh, I'm wasting all of my time. Oh, yes. I was hoping for that. I saw a little bag on the side of the road. I was like, hmm. My uh, my gut sense, my, my gut's like whispering sweet nothings to him. Be like, hey, hey, you should check that out because you never know. You might find yourself some water in there. And water is good given you are sprinting across the world. That was a terrible stab. Come on, get up the hill. Follow the three-toed dick bag. I just need to stab you a little bit, buddy. I just need to stab you a little bit. You're making it worse for yourself by running away. There we go. I can hear someone trundling upstairs as well. He's hunting me like a bloody T-Rex. Come on. Go faster. Go faster before the zombies show up. One more. There we go. All right. How are we looking now? We've got lots of feathers. We've got lots of meat on us now. Enough for four hunks of steak. Better. Better for me. So now, at least, I do have some fluids. I didn't want to drink the only one I had and waste my opportunity to hydrate myself later on. But now, I can get the added benefit of faster uh, stamina regeneration with the hydration. Oh, we're going to make it. We're going to make it. We're going to get there sometime before dusk. I'm starting to see some buildings up through the trees up there, which means we're hopefully getting... A little bit close. I'm just going to cut across the field over here. Just like beeline the 200 meters to get to Trader Potato. Grab the bird's nest on the way through in case there's some eggs for me. There is an egg and also some more feathers if I break you down. So it's really going to be like for the first couple of days at least. It's going to be just like bog stock seven days with no specializations. And we're running with whatever weapons I can find that are going to do the job until I either find a stun button Oh, I just, <laughs> it hurts me deep down to even consider that being an option. Those words coming out of my mouth and not referring to it as the piece of shit that it is just hurts me deep down in my soul. <sighs> but until I find a stun button or the parts to make a stun button, then I'm kind of up shit creek without a stun paddle. Oh boy. This is going to be a whole thing, isn't it? But Trey Potatoes is just over here. We're going to go talk to him. We're going to find somewhere to live. Uh, and all before 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Not the most auspicious start ever, hey. Of course, it's Trader Rick. Because why wouldn't it be? The worst series gets the worst trader. G'day, bud. Oh, let me guess. You need to buy something. I really, really do. Um, I thought for a second you were going to be such a knob jockey and completely ignore me walking into your store. But hey, whoever said customer service was Trader Rex's strong suits. All right. Batten. You got two tier three stun buttons for two and a half grand a pop. Pretty bloody pricey there, Chief, if I don't say so myself. What about in your secret stash? Nothing there. Okay, Pistol Pete Volume 1. Always a handy thing, but I was going to wheel for $600 redos. Bow parts for 300 
Nothing really much. Okay. I see how it's going to be. It's going to be like that. Is it trailer wrecked? We're not going to restock for a, a lot of couple days. So let's go. Do you have any jobs? Anything nearby? 300 uh, meters for a buried supplies. Another 300 meters for buried supplies. Or a clear zombies to the northeast. Well, I'm going to do that one. Because I need to find somewhere to live anyway. May as well try and do a quest early doors too. Over that way. Oh, there's a gears here as well. Okay. That's not bad. Was good. Oh, there's a couple of houses there, but I actually kind of tickle my fancy. I could live up in there. There's not a whole lot of house left. Someone's gone careening through the lounge room. That's got a nice attic I can live in. Hmm, interesting. We're going house shopping. Day one is always house shopping day. Trying to find somewhere nice and hunky to live. I'm breaking down this boulder here just to have enough stones for tool repairs, but also to make arrows. We've got a whole bunch of arrows on the craft for future raiding goodness. Keep my eye on the horizon just in case someone shows up. But interestingly, the house that's in front of me just there, that's a Bob's Boars. Which is actually a really good POI. There's some really good loot in it. There is a giant radioactive pig downstairs, so probably don't pick a fight with that one. But all through that place is a bunch of piggly winkses who are made of bacon. And I quite like eating bacon. I quite like, quite like eating food. Oh, a tree stump. Give me some honey right off the bat, please. But that's basically a grocery store in the apocalypse. There's more meat in there than I'm ever going to know what to do with. So if I ever get hungry, let's go right in there and come out with all the food that I could ever want. Speaking of food. Damn it. I don't need any more feathers. I've got more feathers than what to do with at the moment anyway. I'll grab this tree stump as well. Is it that house I want me to go into? I don't know. There's something over here. But whatever it's going to be, it's going to be my new domicile. No hunting out of that one either. Take a swing, please. Miss. And then... Well, I didn't miss. I also didn't put you down. Okay. Oh, you know what? You can just have that and just bleed out behind while I run away into the distance. It is this place here. Okay. You're going to die? I stabbed you in the arteries. You probably should be like gooping out of your asshole right about now, turning into nothing but a bunch of flubber. There you go. He's down for the count. Bonds about level two. Four skill points to spend on what? I don't know. Well, I guess even. Okay, so if I'm be doing tradey stuff, let's go daring adventurer so I get additional uh, choice of rewards when I do finish this off. Charismatic adventurer, completely worthless for single player, so we'll leave that one behind. We'll get some better barter going. I guess maybe advanced engineering, or that's probably like uh, like maybe day two or three. So I might have just put some points into here. Let's go to that one. And, ooh, grease monkey. I can make myself a bicycle. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Let's do that one. All right, nice. I'll read a couple of the easy things out the front. We'll get inside and see what's going on. This is going to be my new house. I'll take you to sell. That might be a landmine, so I'll just leave it there for later. Got any clothes for me? A little bit cold. Oh! If you don't, bloody mind. Thank God I didn't spend that skill point on the next level of intellect because I found the nerdy gogs, which give me plus one intellect already. The glasses for my skill tree I found on day one. Yes, please. Boom. Get those on me, noggin. Happy bloody days. That gives me tier three intellect right off the bat, which unlocks all the other things. Saving points already. Call me a bargain hunter. Oh, well. <laughs> There's... There's a deer in my backyard. I mean, it's not my backyard yet, but it's someone's backyard. But, I mean, that's all right with me. If there wants to be a pet deer out the backyard made of delicious foods, I'll absolutely take that. I am going to push it and try and harvest you. Oh, God damn it. Oh, shit. No, no, no. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. Hit you once. Hit you twice. Finish you off, please. Come on, one more. One more. One more. There we go. Oh, my God. Any, any quadruped on day one is a bad fucking time. Oh, jeez. Okay, well now I have a concussion. All attributes lowered by one. That's less than ideal. Things are going bad. All of the weeks of hardcore specials have led up to this week. And all of my good luck, all my good luck for the other series has been wasted. Because now, now I'm getting a long dick of seven days. It has decided to take its retribution in the worst way possible. It lured me in with that gear. It was like, hey, look at all this juicy hunk of meat you could be putting inside you in here. Get in and harvest it up. Well, unfortunately for me, 
Oh, is that outside the, the limits? I think it is. Unfortunately for me, it came with a price and I was not willing to pay it. You know what? I don't actually trust that that box is actually outside the limits. So I'll put all of you out to there. I'll keep my arrows on me. Nothing. Oh, and painkillers actually. Does it get rid of concussion? Cure concussion 100%. Yes, it bloody does. So, nom, get that inside you. Fix up that little debuff I had going on there. It is going to ravage my fluids, but... You know, beggars can't be choose, I suppose. I heard someone rattling around over there somewhere. All right. Well, fair enough then. I've got the things that are most important to me. I'll reload you and lock you in. All right. It's five o'clock in the afternoon. Let's get going. That doggo is probably respawned then. Ah, uh, yeah? Yeah, there you are. There you are. Well, missed it. Hit his kettle. He's probably having me breaking his front porch. Aim up a little bit. Damn it. Come on. I have to kill before he wakes up. About there. There we go. Right in the side of the head. He's still not down though because doggos are apparently a big bag of dicks. There you go. You're looking like freaking Mel out of the Simpsons with an arrow through your noggin. But this time, I got the better of you. Ooh, some shades. That's plus one perception, but not what I need. And a cowboy hat. Well, if Arlene's around anywhere, I'm now her dream bro. Got cowboy boots and a cowboy hat and still got, you know, the specs because it's still me after all. So if she's going to show up at any point, now is the time. She's feeling her loins froth from the other side of the town. But I don't know anything about Arlene. That's definitely true. But I'm really, I'm actually really stoked. I'm really stoked about finding those nerdy glasses on day one because that gives me an extra 10% experience. So I have a full week of gaining extra XP. Ooh, some mineral water as well. I'll wait until my medication has worn off because my um my debuff for my water does last as long as that's ticking down. So when that's done, I'll put you inside me and get that going up and about again. You're both empty. Oh, okay. Okay, now we can kind of settle into it. Some shotgun shells, thank you. And hopefully get some good stuff going. In fact, you know what? I will take you and I'll scrap you. The only reason I usually leave the brass behind is because it takes so long to scrap it down to scrap brass, but I'll try it this time. Given this is my house and I'll have somewhere to slot it into. Oh, look. Some glass. Maybe I should put that to good use. But I can actually... Oh, cooking pot. Give me that. I can actually, like, you know, store that brass somewhere this time around and have, uh, hopefully get enough of it to sell for a pretty penny. It's getting a little late in the day and I don't actually know this POI as well as I do some other ones. So I'm kind of taking it as it comes. Oh, that's a purse. Sorry, Loz, I murdered you, then raided your gubs. What's that line? You can tell a lot by the contents of a, of a woman's purse, but it probably wasn't what you had in mind, given I took your life before I took your baggage. Oh, there she is. There she is. I knew you'd show up at some point, Arles. It's the boots, wasn't it? It's the boot and the hat. It wasn't the sledge that did that. She saw what I was rocking, and that's why everything kind of spurred it out of her. Oh, hey, bud. All right, you spawned at a really inopportune time because I was kind of trying to go stealthy, boys. But that's all right. Sledgey's got my back. Just clear the POI, Josh. Then we can find someone to make our own. Oh, I just, I don't like it. I don't like leaving it this late. My medication stuff has worn off now, so I can drink the fluid. Someone's beating on something somewhere. Oh, there's a free torch though. I will take you. Thank you. Is there someone inside the POI? Sounds like it might be actually, or... Oh no. All right. How you doing, bub? Well, let me quickly just dispatch you. Even though you're only half a zombie, you still give me max XP. So there we go. Put you down. Bonds are mate level three. Got another skill point to spend. I'll get down there and take my arrows back in a moment. Have to go down and get all my stuff out of the box at the front anyway. Oh, Loz. Come on, would you just let- just sit quietly in the corner. I'll deal with you when the time comes. You don't need to come and- <laughs> Greet me at the windowsill. You thought you were so clever. You thought you had me covered with your hop, skip, and a jump. But I saw you coming. All you did is jump up into the blade- on oh, the blade, the rock of my sledgy boy. Oh, it was satisfying. Put down your friend. Open up the cupboard as well, because there's usually someone hiding in there too. Sure enough, there is. Murder you as well. We're good. We done. This my new bedroom. Looks like it's gonna be. What have we got? A tier two bloody boy and some ammo. We can change over our boots to something better. I'll scrap you actually for the leather. I'll wear you and scrap you for the leather as well. Bloody boy can go down there in case of emergencies like a dog or something because that was really bad times last time around. Always got some crossbow bolts and this time I, actually, I might actually save that for a rainy day. Uh, some more ammo in there. It's getting kind of late. I could probably push back to Traded Potatoes and hand in that quest 
Probably a bad idea. I still haven't raided this house yet, though. There's still lots of cupboards and things I haven't had a look at. Metal chain mode, which I think actually might be able to go onto the stun button. There we go. I get rid of the cowboy hat as well. We've completely disavowed ourselves of all our cowboy traits. Arlene somewhere is crying in the corner. Okay, well, that'll do nicely for now. I'll actually use that. I'll put all of you into there, and I will quickly go. I'll take that one and lock it. No, lock it into place. Yep, good. I'll even stick you up on the wall so that I can see when I come back. All right. I have to quickly run back to Trader Potatoes. Up oh, down to them. Grab my arrows. Nah, took him to the grave without. All right, fair enough then. Go see Trady, hand in that quest, get a new one. Because I want to try and get like that buried supplies quest that was somewhere up here. I think it was like 300 meters away. Oh, you can live for today, Flopsy. It was 300 meters away, so hopefully up this direction. So tomorrow morning, before Trady opens, oh, I should live there. That'd be the perfect house for me to, leave, for me to live in. Before uh, Trady opens in the morning, I can go to that quest. Kind of make the most efficient use of my time. Because I lost half the day this morning, I really need to make sure I'm making the most, uh, the most of it going forward. I'll take you. I can sell you, actually. The JW house. Don't know why it's called a JW house, but it is. It's not called JW because of me. Though I'm going to claim that it is. Alrighty then. Here we go. Before I turn this in, actually, I did get to the skill point. Can I go the next level? No, I need one more level of insight to get another level of Daring Adventure for two extra choices of rewards. That is going to be worthwhile as we get further into it. Well, in that case, I'm going to spend it on the on that one. I don't know why Intellect has like a weird staggering of things. Like everything else is like 3, 5, 7, uh, 10, but Intellect doesn't seem to be that way. It's like, it's like what, uh, 3, 4, 6, and oh, a bunch of other stuff. Whatever. Anyway, Serrated Blade mod, Cooling Mesh, or Armor Plating mod. I'll take the Armor Plating mod to try and keep myself safe a little bit more. And I live to the northeast of here, so... I guess that one. Not important. Yep. Okay. Is that anywhere near where I just was? It actually kind of is just down the road. All right. Cool bloody bananas. I now have $800 redos. We're a, a third of the way to a stun button. Yay. Um. Oh, here we go. That nerd tats is the candy that you want for insulin. But I'm going to save it there because I want every dollar I do I can in the hope of finding potentially uh, some stun button parts. I'll take you. We're doing everything weird this time. We're taking brass. We're looking for stun buttons. It's all topsy-turvy. I'll take you though. Thank you very much. I'll even scrap you and scrap you for extra stones. Any working workbenches? No. Destroyed forge with an anvil. I mean, it doesn't really matter if there's working workbench this time around because I can make my own as part of the intellect tree. Search you. Not nothing there either. Come on, give me a grill or something. Some soup. Not terrible. We'll check upstairs as well for the chemistry station. Cowboy boots. I'll scrap that one. Scrap them all for any extra resources. Nope. Completely broken. The whole joint's got broken stuff. Typical trader rent. Not even useful when I'm not trying to use it. While I'm running back home, I'll craft myself a land claim block. I can't craft anything else because brass is taking eight bloody years to scrap down. Because it always does. It's, it's That's really my main concern with brass. It just clogs up my crafting system so much that I'd rather just throw it away and deal with the repercussions than sit there for eight years while cra uh, brass gets scrapped down. I forgot to sell you, but I can sell you tomorrow. Alright, I'll take all of that and head back up into my little safe room. Only less than an hour left of the day. I haven't even raided this joint yet. I'm gonna put a door there. Like, I like these these new houses, part of the new Alpha 18 um, buildings. I think it was Alpha 19 these kind of buildings came in. It might have been, actually, no, I think it was, wasn't it? So, like, I actually quite like the new POIs. I did renovate one and live in one once a long time ago, like at the start of Alpha 19. So, it does kind of make me feel a little bit nostalgic, a little bit more homely, but that's fine. Having this nice little, like, lockdown upstairs area, um, this will do me for now. I'll just put my bedroll just on the floor there, I suppose. I'll put the land claim block just anywhere so no zombies will respawn here. Okay, nice. The curtains are drawn. No one can see me from outside. So I've got a little bit of time I sleep just kind of sort my life out. Let's get a campfire going. I do have a cooking pot that I found on the, uh, on the bench downstairs. Get you crafting away. Thank you very much. And just put you in the corner. No? Oh, because of this? Is this your hang-up? All right, I'll get rid of that for you. I'll do you the salt if you do me a salt and cook me on some bacon and eggs or anything I find the recipe for. Get rid of you. There you go. Ooh. 
Sneaky deaky back there. I see him. Oh, I thought it was going to be an ammo pack, but it's not. Do have some high performance running shoes, though. It's going to cost me some armor, but it is going to give me some better mobility. Uh, and some extra stamina regen. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Well, I'll keep you in there just in case I want to use you later on. You can all go away. Got 10 minutes. You know what? I'm going to try and raid the rest of this place just under the cover of nightfall. Just until, the, like, the night time sounds. I can sell both of you. Thank you very much. Get some dollar redos out of that one. Because once night falls, I'm going to be significantly less brave. If there was ever a time not to be out and about cavaliering through the wilderness, it was in the intellect tree. I've got no chance of fighting zombies. In fact... Wait for it. A little bit early on my time. That's right. The sun has gone down. Time to cower in my house. I didn't even realize that I found six silver nugs at some point before. I don't even know where I found them. I was too busy distracted by everything else. But silver nuggies were $300 reduced for the stack of six. So just in here alone, we've got what? 150, 300, roughly 400, 500. Oh, wait, that's for two, isn't it? Okay. No, 450, uh, 600, and then like... Almost a thousand. We've got like roughly a thousand dollar reduce to sell there. We've got to give us close to two thousand. Plus, we can go and hand in that buried supplies quest for another eight hundred dollar reduce. That might get us kind of close, you know. That might actually work out for us in the end. Uh, I do need some stones though to quickly go repair and repair. Uh, I need some wood to repair you and a short iron pipe to repair you. Okay, not looking too rough. I mean, looking pretty rough, but. Not as bad as I was expecting it to be. I will keep my first aid bandage there so I don't accidentally bleed out at some point. Lock it into place. And that'll just about do it. I think I'm a little bit peckish. Not particularly thirsty. I did find some mineral water, which is like the best kind of drink in the game. What are you worth now? So look, all that brass clogging up my crafting system for $40 redos. I just don't think that's worthwhile and I stand by that. I'm getting a little bit bold with it. I'm having a little peek outside to see if there are any zombies around I need to be concerned about. But also because I'm not too far away from the next level up. Oh, is there something on the roof? It looks like there might be. There is a... Oh. Oh, there's a cavity. Where there's cavities, there's often like weapons bags and things. So potentially, there might be something good in there. Can I see anything fun? Can I see anything good? I don't know where that's supposed to be dropping down to. Maybe it's like a, a zombie closet that wasn't triggered because it's too early days. There is like a... I actually haven't mentioned this before. There is a pretty important skill that I rely on quite a lot. And that's like jumping and then pressing crouch before you land. So landing crouched, which later on in the game gets even more... Uh, yeah, come on, get in there, get in there. Even more valuable because there is like a book that means that if you are crouched when you land, you land silently. So that's something I wouldn't mind having down the track as well. But just like having that extra little boost of silence is pretty good. Oh, this is risky, Josh. What are you doing this for? You should be like cowering up in your room. Of all the times you've got to get brave with this. Oh, that was that crawler. That's right. I'll just refresh you. Of all times to get brave, moving through your POI at night, this was not the time. I've grabbed this candle just so I can see something around here because it's dark as dicks. I haven't heard any footsteps for a while, so I think I'm kind of okay to keep on going. Ooh, a poncho. Yes, please. I'll take that. So you'll notice that, like, down here, down in the bottom left, I do have, like, a reading of how loud I am being at any given moment. That's a medical pile. I'll grab you. So it's reasonably quiet. Tapping R to take things out of things... Well, I'd like to take all out of a container is louder than individually taking each item. There's another needle and thread. It's going to help me in my ambition of making myself some um, some pockets at some points. So yeah, as long as I don't tap R, are we reasonably silent? I just wanted to raid the kitchen and see what's here. I need to know. Ah, tapped R. Oh, that went to 60. That was really bloody loud. I just gave that advice, Josh. How about you stick to it for a change? Take you like that. Just try and keep quiet. Another cooking pot. Just for the moment where you have no way of defending against a zombie cruising through your front door. The kitchen's empty, so I'll take my candle back. Did I miss anything else around here? Was there something like in the front room? I don't particularly remember. What do we got? Just some couches, a TV. I mean, it's a nice living room. But I was looking for loot more than anything else. Just going to make my way from, like, block to block using the candle for extra visibility. Ooh, some bookcases. I am cucumber, but that's okay. Wait for my visibility to go down as much as it does. Shock on the side. You can craft shotgun slugs. I can also just sell that to trade a potato. I'll scrap you. I will. I don't need you. 
I will keep you, actually. I mean, I've got all the things I want to sell to trade on me at the moment as well, which is weighing me down, which is kind of silly of me, but that's all right. Good all you guys. No longer cucumbered. Wait for it to go down. All the way down. There you go. What's in this one? Another thing to sell. Making more dollary dues. That's always a good thing. Take the candle back. Oh, wait. Hang on. I didn't... I didn't raid the cupboards yet. Try to get to the shadows. There you go. Nice and silent-like. For a... Oh, I tapped R again. Stop doing that. Josh, you're going to get yourself in trouble. You keep doing that. There you go. Just press E. It's much better for you. I brought back some of the candles I found along the way with the intention of lighting up this front room, but... I mean, now that I'm here, I don't really need to because there's a POI torch. So, like, lights that are spawned as part of the POI, even if they're torches or whatever, um, they don't increase your heat rating like they do if you place... If you break it and put it down yourself, then it will increase the heat rating. But if they're just part of the POI, do you leave them there? Then they don't. So that's kind of important things to know for later on down the track. Uh, I'll put whatever I can away into you. You need to sort of my storage at some point as well. All of that goes in like that. I'll keep those painkillers on me lock them in because they are good for lots of things negative 40 water that's right i'm a little bit peckish so i will eat some chicken rations i found down below and i'm ready to go for tomorrow what else can i do actually i do have some needle and threads so can i make myself some pockets don't have the book to make the double pocket mod which is a shame but two leather duct tape cloth fragments that's gonna be the hard bit uh, yeah, I don't have anywhere near that. Nor do I have the glue to make it. So I might, I mean, I could melt down the bones, I suppose, but I'll do that tomorrow. I'll do that tomorrow. That's right. First things first, though, tomorrow morning, go dig up that uh, that treasure, turn it into traded potato, sell all this, and edge our way closer to getting ourselves a stun button. Still feels wrong, still feels gross to think that I want one of those pieces of shit, but hey, we're going to have to try. We're going to have to try or else future Josh is going to call me and yell at me all over again. But I'll have to try and get that sun button in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the page, the Patreon who made this episode possible. If you have liked it, make sure hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter if I don't talk to you there first. I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.